We turn now to Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Senator, welcome back. Let's start with the Trump cabinet or possible Trump cabinet picks. You've said that you would block maybe Rudy Giuliani or John Bolton if they were put forward uh, for positions in the Trump administration. Why? You know, I supported Donald Trump, and one of the reasons I did was that I liked what he had to say about the Iraq war was a mistake. I think that's an important historical lesson. It's not a matter of when he said it or who he said it to. It's a matter of he understands that the Iraq war was a mistake and regime change was a mistake. Um, so I think it would be inconsistent with his campaign theme. I want people that run the State Department who agree with Donald Trump, and so I'm trying to help. I'm trying to be helpful here. And uh, the problem with both Bolton and Giuliani is they're unrepentant in their support for the Iraq War. They haven't learned any of the lessons. And if we don't learn the lesson of the Iraq War, we're liable to commit it again. This is something Hillary Clinton never understood. You know, she said she voted for the Iraq War, but then she thought she was wrong, but then she did the same thing in Libya, the same thing in Syria. And I think regime change in the Middle East hasn't worked. And so I think it's important that we get a, someone in head of the State Department that understands what Donald Trump said over and over again. The Iraq war was a mistake. Would you include Mitt Romney, who uh, Vice President-elect Mike Pence said is in, under consideration if, uh, in that right. same basket? I'm not sure I would call him unrepentant. I would say that he is somebody who has supported the Iraq war, and I would want to hear more. I think we should ask. Uh, no matter what the stature of the person, we should ask, what are your beliefs? Was the Iraq war a mistake? Are you for regime change? Do you think that toppling Assad in Syria will lead to a better world or a safer world? Do you think toppling, you know, um, Gaddafi in Libya did? Do you think toppling Mubarak? All of these questions should be asked, and they're important questions, and I will ask that. As far as reasonability, if I were to rank Romney up there with someone who I think is a reasonable, even keel versus a Giuliani or a Bolton, I think Julian, Giuliani and Bolton are out there on the extreme. I don't think they're very diplomatic. And I think you want the chief diplomat to be diplomatic. And I've said before, Bolton might be better as a secretary of war, but he's certainly not a diplomat or someone who acts in a diplomatic way or thinks that diplomacy might be an alternative to war. Do you have a, any of your own candidates you put <laughs> forward? You know, I'm afraid I don't get to pick. I, <laughs> I wish I got to pick. But, you know, they've said in the mix, uh, Bob Corker was in the mix, and mm -hmm. I also find him to be very reasonable, uh, very knowledgeable with foreign affairs. As head of the Foreign Relations Committee, I think he's interacted with many of our foreign leaders. And I think that's what you want is a reasonable, calming hand at the State Department. You don't want someone throwing bombs or advocating regime change. I mean, both Bolton and Giuliani have advocated for regime change in Iran, and that doesn't sound like diplomacy, that sounds like war.